645 is the time we tour a lot of exquisite mm -hmm. homes in the Twin Cities. This morning we're taking you inside one of the featured homes of the Artisan Home Tour. And just prepare yourself because this one is very smart. Let's check in with our Shane Wells. Yes, we are going to show you around this gorgeous home on a peninsula, Prior Lake, absolutely stunning design. But we're starting in a place that I've never considered starting a story before, and that is in front of a wall of servers, and that's because it speaks largely to what this home is all about. We have Lance Anderson with us, not only the homeowner, but the owner of Admit One and Aurora One. So you folded a lot of tech and lighting design into this house. This for is sure. kind of your own showroom. Yeah, for sure. It's an that? extension of our, our showroom. It has to be at this point, but yeah, obviously way into technology, um, and this is kind of where it starts. There's a lot of audio and video throughout this house. There's a lot of lighting and lighting control in this house, um, and obviously a very important aspect for me, but the business too. Sure. A lot of people would kind of hide this wall. You want to show it off. Yeah, I mean, we're proud of <laughs> what we do. You can see it throughout the house with the speakers um, uncovered, so you can actually see what they are. But surely the technology we want exposed and make it pretty so that um, it's not an eyesore to look at. And those of us that appreciate it, it's right here. Um, the rack has gained a lot of interest, both on the front side and the back side, actually. <laughs> um, it's very well done. So we've got the bar, we've got the home entertainment. It makes sense that you see this here. But let's go upstairs and show off some of the other ways that it's used in the house. Right on. You just mentioned that you have all your speakers uncovered, which I really hadn't noticed until you said it. Um, but this is kind of a big focal point here, for sure. Yeah, um, it's it's like, how do you bring a 100-inch TV and a 7-foot fireplace and 7-foot speakers into a space without making it feel overwhelming? And I thought the the way to overcome that was really make all the lines of the fireplace and the TV and the speakers align. So not only is the height of the speakers the same height as the fireplace and the TV assembly, but also um, they're all on the same plane um, depth-wise. So the speakers on the same plane as the TV, um, which is on the same plane as the fireplace, which is actually really challenging to do. It required custom speakers. We can't customize the TV yet, but we can customize the fireplace, so the fireplace has a five inch cantilever on it too, so we can match the face of the fireplace to the TV. And as simple as it looks was probably one of the more sophisticated things we did in the house. This is one of my personal faves in the house. I walked by right away and went, what, what, is, what is this? How did you create this? Yeah, I mean, uh, the cabinet guy designed and made, uh, Brian Grabsky, had an idea. Um, we had some Missoni fabric that we wanted to play off of, throw a couple of layers of acrylic glass in front of it, and then, of course, the lighting company, Aurora One, decides we want to light it up and make some dimension to it so we have full control over the layers of light in there so we can change it to any color we want, um, really kind of bougieing up the uh, girls' Um, bathroom here. A plus. This is nice. Wrapping things up with a big reveal in the primary bathroom. Watch these windows. Ready? Touch of a button. Oh, there's Prior Lake. Beautiful views. If you guys want to go on the Artisan Home Tour, it runs the next two weekends. You can learn more at artisanhometour.org. Back to you.